All right, everybody, it's time for System Test 5 of the MS-9600 UDLS. Let's get started. So the system tester is requested by Fire... Fire Tech Guy 4444. I think that's his name. It's, oh, I remember now. It's Fire Alarm Tech Guy 4444. So, let's go over what devices that he requested. Up here on NAC 1, he requested the Simplex 2901-9838 on the 4903-9101. And over here, NAT2, he requested the Simplex 4901-9820 Free Run True Alert. And down here for the first conventional pull station down here, he requested the Simplex 4251-20. And coming over here, down here, he requested... By the window, we requested the Simplex 2999 All right. As always, we got the SD365 and the And he requested the system. The NAC1 is doing code 3. And NAC2, which is the true alert, is doing continuous. So, I'm going to go and grab my keys real quick. And we're going to go ahead and start with the test. Alright, and before I start the test... Again, please do not pull fire alarms in real buildings or tamper with any life safety equipment out in public. I will not be responsible for your actions if you choose to do so. And please do not watch if you have epilepsy to flash strobes or lights. To start things off, we're going to go ahead and pull the Firelight BG-12LX. Here we go. In 5, 4, Three, two, one. Headphone users, please turn down your volume. Silence on the 2901-938. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the 4251-20. Here we go. Now we're going to go ahead and reset the pool stations.
right, now we can reset the system. Just gotta wait for the system to finish initializing and I'll get back to you in just a moment. All right, system's now back to normal. Now we're gonna go ahead and test the heat detector with the hair dryer. All right, I got my hair dryer. Now we're gonna go ahead and test the, the heat detector. Here we go. Now instead of resetting from the panel, we're going to come over here and reset from the enunciator. As soon as it's finished initializing, we're going to go ahead and pull the 2099-9756. Alright, system's now back to normal. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the 2099-9756. Here we go. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're going to go ahead and reset the system again. And I, I forgot to tell you guys that I have an MMF301 mini module controlling this pull station right here. Now, before I end the video, just for the fun of it, we're going to go ahead and press the drill button. So, here we go.
All right, well, this is going to do it for 9600 System Test 5, everybody. I hope you enjoy it. Special shout out to Fire Alarm Tech Guy 4444 for requesting this system test, and be sure to check him out. And if you'd like to request a system test, just comment down below in this video or in my collection video. The instructions on what to do on the, both of my systems are in those descriptions. And also be sure to check out my other fire alarm videos. And I will see you next time, everybody. Peace out. Uh.